comes right now. We ask him to come in here today and clarify direct from his mouth exactly his condition. So many people have asked us about how he's getting along. You can obviously see that he's not in the pink, but he's still looking good. Jeff, how you doing, how you doing bud? Today, Glad to have you back here. We've had a lot of people that have been curious about the arm and how you're doing and what the situation. So you tell them. Well, Lance, first of all, I'd like to say I, I'm just glad to be down here. I'm glad to, glad to get out of the house. You know, I hadn't been able to do much working out, but uh, I've been doing some running and uh, trying to do some leg weight. I can't, I can't do much uh, working out with the weights, but uh, I'm trying to get stay in shape, that is, and uh, I guess I just can't wait to get back. Uh, the doctor said it'll be a, another two to three weeks, and I go back and have another... Uh, appointment with him and uh, he said he's going to re-x-ray at the end and then he and he also I, I heard him say when randy talked to him that he might um, don't come out here fuller now you've already caused all the trouble in the world yeah laugh laugh i knew this boy right here was as dumb as they come i talked about your mama being retarded boy and i done it because it's true and your daddy ain't a darn bit better but i'm gonna tell you something else goose face real nice. Come out here and take care of the little titty baby okay, there. Huh? Come on now. <laughs> yeah, I said, Jeff. Get his Robert, daddy out here and try to we don't need any of your conversation. I've been waiting when you go do that. Come out here and take care of the pup. Huh? Yeah, you bring out nine guys out here for crying out loud and you, you don't even belong out here. Why don't you just get out of here? As far as that goes, Jeff. Okay, Jerry, we got this guy he needs let, to get out of here. Let me tell you something, you big long drink of water. <laughs> oh, you make me want to throw up, you jerk. Let me tell you something, Robert Fuller. You better watch your I've stood in the back and I've watched you hang Jeff and I've watched you break him with a, a Coke bottle over his head and I sat like an idiot and watched you break his arm. But I'll be damned if I'm going to let you whip him while he's got a busted arm. Now, I didn't come out here to fight and I'm not staying in it sticking my nose in his business. I'm leaving right now. You do whatever you want to do, but you're not going to bust him up with an arm broken, and that's the last thing I'm going to do. Okay, now just let it go at that. Oh, Robert! You guys stay back out of it! Hey, come on. We need some help out here. Oh, Fuller, you don't need anybody. You can do it Come on, Robert. You get two or three of you out here. Say about you, got that. Say you got Look at how many of you got. Okay. It'd be fine if you were one on one, but you can't do that, Robert. You gotta get out here and have all your guys. Any moment out. Oh boy, that's disgusting. Come on, Phil. Keep away from him. That's no excuse to that. Jeff Jarrett just hit Fuller with a cast. Nails him across the shoulder again. Jeff finding out that cast is good for something besides keeping the arm. Boy, I am telling you. You okay, Eddie? Okay, we got to take a break. We'll be back here in just a minute. But we've got Pat Rose and Bob Holly. Yeah, Jerry, you okay? Yeah, Lance, can I take just a minute of your time? I want to say something to the people right now. I've tried. I'm sorry. Uh, you know more than anything in, in, in the whole world, I wanted Jeff. 
you know, I'm, I should, I've lost it. Yeah, you know. Take a light, Jerry. I more know. More than anything in the world, I wanted to, Jeff to take my place. And I didn't want anybody to say that I had set him in this business. And I'm telling all you people from my heart that I have stood and watched him get, get his arm broke and, and didn't do anything. And that damn day is over, folks. <laughs> you know, you know, when you have a son and you want him to follow in your footsteps, you, you can't take him by the hand. But damn, it's hard to stand and, and watch him get mutilated. And I, Robert Fuller, I'm talking to you now, guy. I'm no longer on the sidelines because Jeff can't make it with you and your pack of thieves. He can't make it. So I'm sticking my nose in from today and, and from here on out. And I want to tell you something, I'm changing the card. It's going to be Jeff, because I stood out here and ran him off like a goof, and that cast is more of a weapon. He's tougher now than he was before he broke his arm. He used it pretty good. So I'm going to... I'm going to change that card, and it's going to be Jeff and Mantell, and I'm going to be in his corner. And I want to tell you something, Robert. That hag you run around with you with that stick. <laughs> Jeff won't hit her, but I'll bust her right in her nose and I'll take that stick. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Hey, Robert, yeah, there you are. now you've caused oh, enough a minute, trouble. Buddy. You let me tell you something. I know you're crazy now, man. I know it. And you should not have been able to breathe. You wouldn't have the problem with that punk that you got right now, baby. Yeah, you're... You take that and smoke it in your pipe. Let me tell you what you take and smoke in your pipe, you long drink of water. I knew your daddy for all my life. Yeah. I was his partner for eight years, yeah. and I respect him then, and I respect him now. What I don't know, Robert Fuller, is who the milkman in your neighborhood was. Because you ain't Robert, you're not Buddy Fuller's son. You're some milkman's son, and brother, that makes you a bastard child. What you son can't do it, you can't do it. There's always, not one, always. Oh my God, they piled up. No, come on. All right, you got it. Get off. Of it. God, yep. he's a pile driving right there on the floor. Oh. Still. We gotta take a break, be back in a moment.